How will Boxer, Ben, your company, negotiate the path ahead for the top trio of cruiserweights? And, of course, we know who they are. Mm. Richard Reactpour, Lauren Sokoli, and Chris Billum-Smith. I mean, how are you going to keep all of them happy in the coming weeks and months? I think it's perfect. I think, luckily, with the guys in the cruiserweight division, they want the big fights. And now we've got them all lined up. Billum-Smith will fight in a stadium in Bournemouth in May. We'll announce that next week. Richard Riappo, we finalised what he wants to do la- next week, and it is so exciting. He wants his he, fight after fight after big fight. Lawrence Sokoli, the world champion. Now we Sugar Hill fights on March 25th against David Light, an unbeaten guy. He's got to come through that. And I, after a year out the ring with a new trainer, with a guy that's been after him for so long, that is a potential banana skin. So Lawrence has to come through that. But I think everyone's excited for the Akoli Riappo fight. Everyone's excited for Billiam Smith to have a world title opportunity and possibly have that rematch with Riappo as well. Richard and Lawrence both want to move up to heavyweight after three fights. They're, they're big, big guys at the weight. They're six foot five, they're six foot six. They're going to have two or three of the biggest world title unification type fights against each other. And then they'll be in the heavyweight division. But this year is the year of the cruiserweights and we'll be announcing something very different, very special this year where no one can avoid each other. If you win this fight, you'll face this one and that's how it will run. <laughs> that's how to sell it, Ben. No one can avoid each other. We've already seen Akoli and Riappor uh, going at it in a movie theatre, haven't yep. we, Simon? And that, and that they don't like division, each other. They had a real tilt to each division. other. You've, got a new, you've got a new world title holder named Badu Jack as well in the mix of it all who's been around and about. So it's an interesting division and you've got two, three... Very, 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 very good British cruiserweights. And so mm. with that in mind, you know, the cruiserweight division always has been the sort of poor relation to the heavyweight division, but it's a good division. Mm. We've had world champions come out of it on many occasions. Evander Holyfield, David Hay have come out of that division. They all land in the heavyweight division because it pays them. But notwithstanding that, we've got great fighters in there now. You you mentioned Badu Jack there, who become the oldest ever cruiserweight champion yeah. at 39 years of age. Ben, a question I wanted to throw to you. You know, you've got that trio of cruiserweights there, all waiting for world title shots. Surely they're all chasing Badu Jack. I mean, is there a possibility that... Badu Jack could be boxing one of those next. Look, I, personally, I don't think Badu Jack will go any way near all three of them. All three of them are obviously desperate for that fight. I think that was very much a veteran world title fight, if we're honest, with yeah. Makabu and Badu Jack coming towards the end of their careers. I'd be very, very surprised. I actually think there's a rematch clause with that fight, but I'd be very, very surprised for Badu, although we would pay very big money and we would love him to fight <laughs> Lawrence or Richard mm. or even Chris. I can't see it happening. I think Jai Opataya, Arsene Gullamarian, who are probably the top-level guys in the division, I think they're the guys that will be wanting to come over here and take the challenge. Ben, we mentioned that scrap in the movie theatre, Okoli Riappor, and it was part of a promotion. Is is all promotion good promotion? Were you not entirely happy with how that unfolded? Look, I think after the Eubank Smith press conference, it was, you know, part of us was thinking, you know, not all promotion is good promotion, when I saw that, my first thought was, "What are you doing, lads?" You know, it, it looked a bit, it looked a bit unseemly. unseemly. You know, yeah. it was. It, yeah. But at the same time, speaking to both of them, they don't think it was too much. I think Lawrence said something that Richard la- didn't like, and I know Richard. Richard, you know, he's very calm, very collected. But as soon as you get under his skin, he will go. And they're proud London boys who think they're the best fighter in this country and 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 they know that they're gonna have to fight each other and i, I think it was just a, a natural thing hopefully something that we that we won't see again but the interest in that fight is is off the scale jim white and simon jordan monday to friday mornings from 10 on am on dab via the talk sport app and on your smart speaker talk sport